we'll move on to item number 4.1, which is presentation of the Wind and Water Sports Park. Christina. Good evening, Mayor, Council, Christina Baberka, Shoreline Director. Okay, so here's an update on the Wind and Water Sport venue. Um, just brief, uh, real quick, where the project's at, located just north of the shores, um, right here in this black area. Um, real quick note, city limits actually extends further north. This is an outdated picture, but wanted to show you the general area of this, where this project is going to take place. So this project was one of the um, uh, venue tax projects voted on in 2016 by the community. A joint evaluation meeting with all federal agencies took place in 2018 to discuss the plans, what, we ha uh, what the idea of the project was to get initial feedback so that could go into the design. Hanson Professional Services was uh, procured in 2020 for the early 2020 for the design and engineering of the project. All throughout 2020, meetings were held between city staff, Hanson, Army Corps of Engineers, um, uh, for the design and the layout of the project. And the final, the plans were finalized in early 2021. Those plans are right here. Um, so the, these are the original plans where you had a driveway, where a gate would be, a keypad. A permeable road goes out. There was three parking lots in this upland area here, and the road went out closer to the water, where parking lot, the furthest parking lot out there was uh, concentrated on an upland area out there with a laydown area and mac access matting. This uh, Here's the same overlay over the habitat type, so just showing you what kind of habitats we're dealing with, the wetlands out there. You have your marsh, your tidal flats, your tidal pools, um, and we... The location was selected to really try to avoid impacting as little of the wetlands as we can, can uh, uh, go. Here's a, so going into the timeline and I'll get to where we're currently at. October 2020, the original draft biological ass uh, assessment was submitted to the Army, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. In 20, November 2020, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service provided comments on the biological assessment, and we held a meeting with them to discuss what their issues and concerns were going to be so that we can incorporate that into the design and the uh, biological assessment. Uh, they fixed it, Hansen fixed up the biological assessment based on those, and a second draft was submitted to the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers in December 2020. Um, in May 2021 is when we had received comments and revisions from the Army Corps of Engineers on that second draft. Hansen took those comments, sent him, uh, revised our biological assessment, and revised, uh, sent in a third draft to the Army Corps in June 2021. In July 2021, uh, the Army Corps had advised that additional revisions will be required and that those revisions will, will be submitted by the Army Corps of Engineers to Hansen and Batches for an expedited review process. In September 2021, the Army Corps provided comments on the third biological assessment draft, and then a revised fourth draft was submitted in November 2021 by Hansen to the Army Corps of Engineers. Um, in December 2021, uh, in the internal review, Army Corps comments uh, submitted to our Army Corps, so other, uh, other staff in the Army Corps submitted to our project manager at the Corps that they had some comments on the plans. We, and the, that same month, we also contacted our senator, senator's office to, uh, incur, to, to get some help with uh, moving this, this project forward. Um, in January 2022 of this year, um, internal Army Corps comments were, that were submitted in December were then forwarded to Hanson. So it took a month for them to just submit those comments that we had so that we could get working on the, the revised plan. So more recent updates in January. We had a bunch of meetings between city staff, Hanson, and our Arm, uh, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, the project manager, as well as the district's regulatory lead. A fifth biological assessment revision has been was submitted to the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Um, in February, we had n got a notice from our project manager at the Corps that the redesign was on the right track, um, and so the and mitigation will be required. So we've been working on those big changes to the plans not big, but changes to the plans include reduced size to parking lot A, 
Um, and then changes to parking lot B and C, they removed D and combined that into C, and I'll show that in the next couple slides. Um, Hansen submitted an alternative analysis to the city, which went through all the different variations that could be possible to show that this modified version of the plans is the best um, one for plans, uh, the plans as a whole, um, as well as what the Army Corps is willing to accept. In March, um, the Army Corps requested more details on the modified plans. That's the reduced parking lot ACE uh, plans. Additional meetings have been held between with the city, Hanson, and the Corps, as well as the property owners. We've been in contact with them a lot since we are leasing this land. Um, the, our colonel for the entire Galveston district of the Army Corps, we've brought him on so we can update him on what's going on so we can try to get this moving as quickly as we possibly can. Um, Hansen was working on the amended revision of the biological assessment, which will be our sixth draft. And then um, most recently in April, we've had additional meetings between city staff, Hansen, and the property owners. Um, Real quick, here's the, the modified version that we're, we've kind of been working with where the parking lot um, has been turned so it, it could be as concise and uh, on top of those uplands in that area as much as possible, as well as reduce parking back here. Um, so our next steps at this point is to continue working with the engineers as well as the Army Corps of Engineers to come up with an appropriate design that's going to be most feasible for, our, for, for all parties. Um, and this includes the parking lot A as well as a, a mitigation plan. And so that is what we have. Thank you. Um, Sarah, do you have any questions or did you... If you well, I'm sort of stunned by how slow things are going, but, oh, my name, my name is David Carlson, um, and I'm a longtime kiter and temporary resident in South Padre for about the last 20 years. And, uh, and I did that uh, little video overview that maybe some of you saw on the website where I flew my drone out and, and laid down for the public, basically, our, our group of interested people, how the layout would go. So um, I've done a little bit of stuff here, and I've met with Miss um, Boberka a, a couple of times, and I want to extend my sympathies <laughs> to everyone involved because um, I thought that this was just ludicrous how long it was taking to get these things done until I see that Elon Musk is having a hard time getting permission for the, from the FAA to launch a rocket, which is much more has much more impact on the economy, <laughs> southern Texas than this probably does. Uh, I'm glad that you're continuing, and uh, Ms. Boberk is continuing to press ahead on this because I think a lot of people in the kiteboarding community believe that nothing's happening. I think this was a very nice presentation, very well done, and as a person who's interested, I think, uh, you know, sort of my hats are off to you, uh, and, I, you know, I hope you continue. Is there um, any issue with the amount of money that's being expended in these studies? Are you going to have enough money to actually build this thing when, it, when the time comes? We have the funding in place. We're ready yeah. to go. We're shovel ready. It, it, it's just, it's a lot of... There's a lot of red tape with the Army Corps and, and fish and wildlife. Well, we haven't gotten to fish and wildlife yet. Uh, and as you've seen what's been going on with, with SpaceX and, and their issues, and then the Army Corps has withdrawn their permit application. I mean, there's just there's a lot of it, – it's amazing the amount of circular conversation. And, you know, it's just – it's a, there's been a lot of time for several of our council members spent on this, and, um, and and we are just as shocked as you are. And, and I can tell you that if I, I would, if someone said, "Hey, I want you to go develop something up on the north end of the island," I would tell you that I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm retired, I'm out of it, I'm, I'm done, because it's 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 an incredible amount of work that's been having to go into this for what you would think would be a, a, a conservation plan that protects a large portion of an area and to have a preliminary approval way back when and then everything kind of went backwards two years two and a half years three years after the fact it's just kind of shocking 
but everybody is working very hard on it. And, um, you know, we had a two and a half hour meeting last week regarding it. And it was a very, you know, intense meeting and, and, you know, we're, we're doing our best with what we can do to, to try to move this project forward. Thank you. You know, a a year ago, Mayor Manson, a, a year ago, we would have thought this was in the bag and up comes the core and you know the the regulatory agencies who would have thought vehicular traffic in a parking lot would have held this thing up there's been vehicular traffic on the flats shortly after henry ford built the first moral t <laughs> but all of a sudden we we get hit with this and i know staff sure enough they've been working diligently christina you know sleeps with this thing and uh, uh, we'll get it done. Maybe not my lifetime, but <laughs> we'll we'll get it done. We'll get it done in my lifetime, please. <laughs> but uh, uh, I I can assure you, somebody's been around here for six decades. You know, who who, who would have thought? I mean, just um, it, it minor to us, but major to you know, the bureaucrats. The uh, the. Windsurfing Club that was established, I don't know, 20 or 30 years ago, has done a good job of providing access to many of us that are longtime members of the club. And I appreciate their efforts. They're, they're trying to fill in the gap right now between when this gets built. And, um, and so I think they've done a wonderful job. But a lot of those guys are kind of getting older. And uh, I just hope that someone from that group continues to provide that continuity between now and whenever the park gets built. So if you can support their, the existence of that organization as a stopgap until the park gets built, um, I think that would be good. I don't know how you would do that. The city's been doing that. We've had Jib- Jibber and Leo and Karen. They've been involved all, every step of the way. Those are the people that Karen are talking about. So. We, you know, we've identified who the uh, the leaders of that group are, and they've been involved. And if you send me an email to my city email address, I'll be happy to share some emails with the Corps of Engineers you can write your letter to and explain to them uh, your concerns. Well, I contact Pretty disgusted with the process, because Christina's been working really hard on this, and she didn't submit once, not twice, not three times, not four, but she's on her fifth one. And, I, and I, it's 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 been a... <laughs> an arduous pride swallowing siege at the uh, watching the pace that the Corps has been working on this with and uh, it's almost like they want to kill the project well and, and I, I can assure you the property owners they don't want a, a piecemeal small project they want a world-class facility it's something really nice down there we can be proud of and that's important to them and that's what we're gonna build but uh, uh, so drop me an email I'll I, I really appreciate Ms. Holberka's presentation tonight it really helped me and a lot of people that are on the outside that are not involved don't really understand the effort that's going in and that there's actual progress and reviews being made and so they think well nothing's happened you know it's been years so I appreciate the presentation and and thank you for your time thank you thank you sir all right anybody else have any comments all right, hearing none, we'll move to item number five, which is approved consent agenda. Is there a motion to approve 